instead of managing, I wonder how I'm going to look for all this. Manage your state of being. Manage who you're being. When you look out there and it's not so good, don't try to change out there. Go over here. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you another tow truck driver distinction. I didn't plan on this. Like I said, I was sitting there. Roll the picture. This was me two weeks ago. So picture me being in bed for four weeks, meeting with my clients, doing my stuff, really learning, and people say, and I would not change it, and I'm dead serious. So I finally, and by the way, I did Zoom calls, and with people, there's some people in here, I did stuff with to help create this thing while I'm in bed sick. Not sympathy, like I dug it, I'm okay. I can be sick and you'd be okay. And that's something. So I almost feel like normal. I decide to go out in the back garden and see what it looks like. I hadn't been in a car, I'd driven. This is a guy who works out all the time. I don't remember what page it is, but go look at that 66 year old. I think I look pretty good in that book at 66, I really do. So I'm working out all the time. Four weeks, no working out, no stretching. Going to the bathroom, eating, going to sleep, client. Going to the bathroom, eat. four weeks. My mind was so good. I do it. What am I learning? What am I learning? This is great. So I get up. I go out in the backyard. We got a little chase lounge. I think I got a client at two. Plug it in. I don't want to sleep through my client. I've been sleeping all day. I don't. He's flying in from another state. I lay down, put my alarm on. Again, I haven't been doing anything. My body's not used to anything. You know, going through Scotland was hard for me this last week, just walking. And the alarm rings, and I just pop up really fast. And, you know, so th this has been not well. And it takes two steps, and it face plants. And my wife, who's a really even-killed person, I know when she looked at me, this wasn't a good thing. When she came and looked at me, she can look at something, it's not a big deal. And she looks at me, and somehow in the fall, it kind of tore the, part of, the round part of my foot, just ripped it off, I guess the weight. And I don't have anything to support me, so I just crash. She comes out, we walk in, I've got blood on the carpet. She's calling the kids, her sister's a nurse, taking pictures of my head. We go to the urgent care. I'm in the urgent care, and she's saying... The nurse is saying, I said, how long will this be to get somewhat that look like Frankenstein? And she says, probably four weeks at the first, and you're probably about four months before you get it down where you don't see it much, and you got all these speckles and everything. Guess what the first thing I said in my mind was? I said, that's a normal person. That's what they would do. I said, I'm going to, um, I'm going to unless, somebody, unless I told somebody this story, at this event, they wouldn't know this happened. All I want you to know is I decided that I was going to have a great experience. She's one of the few people that I sent a picture to that was that picture. She's in charge of this. I said, when I get there on the 30th, this is going to be a lot better than you ever saw. People saw what had happened to me, and I literally say to people, what I learned in those four weeks, that head dive, and where I'm at, if you said, Steve, we're going to take that experience away from you, but you don't have to be sick for four weeks, and you don't have to head dive, I'd say, put me in the head dive pile. I want to go back down. I'm dead serious. You're the one deciding. Do I want to be happy? Do I want to be sad? Do I want to be okay? Do I... You're doing it. Well, not if you get a toe in hell. That's me. You, you think I'm the only one that could do that in the room? No. Anyone who wanted to do that could say, hey, I just got hurt. I'm going to take care of it. We're going to be fine. You could do that. 